What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with another episode of Journey to Master and today we're going to talk about the language of the trades. All right, so what do I mean by the language of the trades? Generally, I mean people don't speak as cleanly in the trades as those that might work with a suit and a tie on. Um, lately in my YouTube channels, uh, I've gotten contacted, not even just lately, it's kind of been a thing, but people will leave comments or write to me and say, hey, I would love to use your videos in a classroom setting, but you have a foul ass mouth, so clean up your mouth where people are just like, I would love to sit and listen to this with my three-year-old, but you swear too much, so I'm not watching your stuff. And it's like, well, first off, why are you watching electrical videos with your three-year-old? I mean, that's just kind of weird. Not judging, but that's just kind of weird. Um, what is your three-year-old going to gain from this guy? Not much. You should be watching, like, I don't know, teddy bears and unicorns and shit like that. So anyways... Here's what I have to say, at least at first to address the trades. Being in the trades kind of affords you some things. So, you know, not only are you in an environment because you probably have not made the traditional society deemed best choices in life, um, you're there because of, you know, lack of options or because you tried it and you just fucking loved it. Um, but for whatever reason, you're in an environment that you're allowed to just be yourself. You don't have to really pretend to be anybody to work every day. You just put tools on and work. And, you know, the trained guys, the licensed guys, they're going to be the ones talking to customers and um, kind of being the face of a company. But the apprentices or helpers um, really are just there to kind of assist. They don't have anything to say anyways. They don't know what the fuck's going on, so they can't really say a whole lot. But one thing that I will say is that when you're a lead guy and you're talking to customers every day, you're dealing with GCs or you're going into an office building, I don't speak like this. I don't throw F-bombs and, you know, like I don't, I limit myself and I kind of filter who I am to those people. I don't share a lot about my life with them either. I just, I'm there to represent a company. And so I want to try to represent that company. I'm being paid to do so in the most positive light that I can. So I tend to talk happier and, and you know, I don't swear and I don't like bitch and complain about every single little thing. You know, like I am a, I guess a more respectable version of myself for business sake for collecting money in a transaction between people, for that sake. Um, and that's the only reason, it's like that's part of my job. Part of my job is to be a front man for a company. So when I walk into a job, these people think so-and-so electric, oh wow, they're awesome. But it's really just their interaction with me that they've enjoyed and that's what will get them to call back later. They're not talking to the people in the office and they don't, talk to the owner and, and every single journeyman. They don't know the whole company. They just know you. This guy. This guy walked into my house and this is how he acted. So when I'm in front of customers, I filter myself down and I speak very politely, very respectfully. I'm in their home. It's the same thing I would do to my grandmother or my parents. Like if I'm in somebody else's domain and uh, I'm in a place where I need to show them respect, I do that. I By default, I do that with everybody. But when I'm with my dudes, like my people, when I'm at home, when I'm like with family, you know, like I'm just me and I cuss a lot. Like the trajectory I've taken in my life has just made me be around a lot of other people that cuss a lot. Being in the military, fucking half bomb central. Um, you know, like being in construction, cooking in kitchens. It's like a lot of things where you're not interacting with people to have to put on this fake plastic smiley face. You know, I've also done the corporate thing and the retail thing where you do have to do that. You do have to constantly try to be this shiny version of somebody that other people will want to buy things from. But I'm not here for that reason. You and me, you watching this right now, I'm not here to impress you. I'm not here to 
to put on a plastic version of myself so I can sell you something. No, dude, it's just, you're my dude. Like, you're, you're one of me. If you're watching this and you give a fuck and you've been watching me for a while, you're my people. And I just talk like I talk to my people. I'm not going to degrade them by trying to make myself out to be this plastic person. I'm not going to put my the way that I speak into a, a, a different form so that they won't be offended. I don't know half the people watching this stuff right now. It would be impossible for me to try to be a version of myself that pleases every single one of you. So I've decided for me and all my videos and all my content to just be me. And that's really all I care to do. Um, I don't think that I have ever, it's been what, 55, six, something like that episodes. I don't think that I've ever said anything that has outright offended anybody. Maybe some people have got offended because I've said the word fuck too many times. But I don't go out and maliciously attack anybody. I don't purposefully hurt people. I don't talk badly about people. I'm not doing anything with the intent to harm. I just speak a certain way. I, you know, like the, the human language has like a million words in it. And I've heard that most people have command of around 5,000 of those words. And everybody has a command of a different set of 5,000. You know, um, these are my 5,000. This is how I speak, you know. One thing I've noticed about myself, though, that's kind of funny is uh, when I'm out in the country, I speak more country. I drop a lot of like the proper, you know, I don't, uh, I don't insert commas when I speak, you know, or like I have kind of a drawl. Um, so I speak country, but when I'm speaking with my grandma, you know, like I speak very slow and I speak very respectful and I like maintain really good eye contact and I have a softness about me to show love and care and respect for an elder and I don't cuss when I'm on a job site, you know, and nobody's around, like I'm probably listening to hip hop and <laughs> hip hop traditionally doesn't use the best language or, you know, I'll be listening to metal, we'll throw Metallica on, we'll throw like corn. Uh, I listen to so much. So that's the language around me on a pretty constant basis. So that's the language I use. Um, I, I, we're different people all the time, depending on who we're around. But what I want all of this to be, this journey to master, this electrician you, it's just me. I'm just recording me, who I am, what I think, my ideas, my experience, my opinions and advice for whatever the fuck that's even worth. I'm me and I'm putting it on a camera. So. If you have a problem with the way that I speak, unfortunately, my friend, you should just watch something else. Uh, there's a lot worse role models to have. There's a lot worse people to, to listen to. I'm sure some of the shit that you watch on Netflix, you know, or, or uh, whatever you stream, I'm sure you listen and, to and watch a lot worse shit than me dropping a cuss word every once in a while. I think that on the whole, I'm a pretty nice dude. I don't fuck with anybody. I don't try to hurt anybody. I stand up for myself, but I don't sweat petty bullshit. I don't let people's toxicity filter into my life. Every once in a while that does happen. It's just unavoidable. But like on the whole, I'm not hurting anybody. I don't ever do anything to hurt anybody. And if anything, I always precede every relationship that I have with respect and humility and knowing that I'm not at the top, you know, like, yeah, I'm sitting here speaking to you. So I'm somewhat of a subject matter expert, I suppose. I'm, I'm putting myself out there to be that. Um, but I still always in every environment, look at other people and look at what's great around them and see how I can try to change to be a little bit more like them, a little bit less like them. But in any event, if you're not able to get through the barrier of some sounds that are coming out of my mouth, then my message is not for you. My message is for the people that understand that words are, are just words and they want to connect to my message and they want to connect to me and they're not going to get bogged down by a four letter word. I mean, Jesus, it's just a word. That being said, I know there's some words out there that are a lot sharper than others, um, directed with hate. But that's another thing, you know, when I cuss, I don't direct cuss words 
with hate at anybody. It's more of just a an adjective, <laughs> you know. It's a it's a shade of color to put on an idea that I'm conveying. So I I just want you guys to know I'm just gonna keep being me. Uh, if you want to show your these videos to your students, cool man. If not, cool man. Uh, a lot of your students are probably gonna go home and find these videos and watch them anyways. So uh, it, it boggles my mind that a, you know, like a 50 year old man can't handle a cuss word in our society. In our, we have a president that drops cuss words on video in front of 350 million people. Uh, not excusing that, <laughs> fuck, I shouldn't even mention him. I'm not pro or anything. I could give a shit less about who is or who is not president. Um, but I'm just saying there's so many examples around you of people that use their own language, the language that they speak, and for you to think that they need to change who they are to make you feel comfortable is a fucking problem, my friend. So shame on you if you think that. Um, but you know what? <laughs> everybody's a judgmental prick at the end of the day, and everybody wants everyone else to do what they want to do. Um, so I get it. You know, I ain't mad at you. Um, so I guess let's tie that in a little bit with the trades in general. So like I was saying earlier, the trades are particularly filled with people that I think live less plastic, live less pretend. Um, most people in the trades, like when you walk into a building, even if you've got a uniform on and you're an electrician, the fact that you're carrying tools, people look at you a certain way and have certain expectations of you. And let me tell you, my friend, those expectations are pretty low. Um, a lot of the time when you walk into a place and you're carrying tools, the customers at the place, the owners of the place, the whoever you're doing work for, they're looking at you like, oh, it's a dirty worker. Like, I'm not even gonna bother talking to him. There's nothing I have to say to him. Um, a lot of times uniforms are dirty, hands are dirty, fingernails are dirty, and that's just looked at as a kind of substandard way to, to be. We have to work hard for our money. We don't get to work in a clean office with nice shiny smiles and dealing with ambiguity. Uh, big words like that. So a lot of people that work in those kind of environments do have to put on a fake smile. They have to dress a certain way so that they're accepted by everybody around them. They have to speak a certain way as to not hurt anybody's feelings so that everybody is accepted around them. And for them to have career advancement, they have to you know do certain things and maintain certain relationships. And, and there's a lot of bullshit that goes on in those environments. The trades don't have any of that. I mean, I'm sure, dude, there's so many companies. I'm sure there are some like really corporate electrical companies out there. There are some really judgmental pricks and like just assholes running companies. There's some cool fucking people that love to teach that are running companies. You're going to run across it anywhere. But by and large, the trades are filled with, with people that cuss. People cuss. Like everybody does it. Kids do it. Grandparents do it. Everybody does. Uh, everybody speaks the language that they speak. So just when you walk on a job site, you're, it doesn't matter if it's Spanish or English or whatever language, you're gonna hear a little bit, uh, you're gonna hear the peasant's version of the king's English. <laughs> because a lot of tradespeople are that, you know, like we are afforded by us not making a bajillion dollars a year and having to worry about all of the, the fanciness of life that acceptance and trying to be accepted by others brings. We just get to be who the fuck we want to be, and because we're getting we're getting paid to do work to like to like actually do something, and we don't you know if we're interacting with somebody we're not working, so it's more accepted for us to just work, and you know there's kind of this roughneck nature to the trades too, like it's there's a lot of machismo and a lot of like having to be an egotistical male to show all the other males I'm tough, <laughs> you know like that bullshits in our environment. And I get it, you know, again, everybody's working with heavy things and tools and a lot of like strength comes into the trades. So uh, there's there's just a, it's a whole different type of being, but you can really be who you are in the trades and not really have to worry about it. Now, that being said, when you're going into a job, you start talking about doing blow and, you know, shooting heroin like you're probably gonna get fired yeah there are some limitations to what I'm saying but again 
you have to know your audience and who you're around. By and large, most people expect a tradesman to say the word fuck at some point. Most people expect a tradesman to say shit. Most people expect a tradesman to like hit their nail or hit their, their finger with a hammer and be like, son of a bitch, you know, like writhing in agony in a, in a really quiet corporate office where everybody's just sitting there with paperwork. All of a sudden somebody's like, fuck, like everybody would be like, what the fuck, you know, uh, or not what the fuck. Cause they're all corporate people. What the, what the heck? Uh, it, it makes less sense for that kind of language to be in that environment. But on a job site, everything's loud. There's saws. There's. I'm kind of going off the rails where, with where, what I'm trying to say. But what I am trying to say is that in the trades, out in the field, uh, I was actually recently messaged by a master electrician who said that I need to clean my language up because he can't use my videos to teach his... Uh, apprentices and his you know students and it kind of made me think like you're a master electrician like, why don't you just teach them or why don't you make some videos you know if, like if you want to made a different way but like why are you coming to me telling me that I need to change who I am so that you can use my content for whatever you want to use it for or telling me that I need to change because it, suddenly your watching of my content on a constant basis is unpleasant to you. So I need to change who I am. I don't agree with that. So anyways, this has kind of been all over the place. Sorry, my people. Um, but again, I did an episode a while ago called like, just let people be. And I, that was a very uh, loved and hated, understood and completely misunderstood um, episode that I did and I offer no apologies for my opinion because that is still my opinion I think you just need to let people be let people be who they are uh, until somebody is directly doing something that is a, a threat to the right for you to be able to be who you want to be then you have no right to tell them to stop being who they are um, you know, if you're in an environment where somebody is being like belittling you and degrading you and stuff like that, then that's not a person I would let be, you know, like they're directly influencing my ability to be happy and I have no way to get out. I can't just change the channel. You can change the channel. You can stop watching this right now and just go somewhere else. My ability to cuss and just be my natural self and who I am and form opinions is not stopping you from living your life. It's not stopping you from anything. It's not hurting you. It's not harming you. You have ways out of the situation. But if you don't, if you're ever in an environment where, you know, like somebody's endangering your life, you're in a car with somebody and they're driving recklessly, like that's the kind of things where, yeah, you don't let that person just be. You need to take some, some control over it. You need to speak up. You need to stand up. You need to do something about it and tell that person they need to fucking change. That's different. They're affecting your ability to live, to survive, to, to, you know, like they're affecting you in a dramatic way. So that's where I say, you know, like just, just let people be. If somebody's not harming you and they want to do whatever the fuck they want to do, if you see some dude smoking pot, you want to like, you want to walk over to him and knock it out of his hand and be like, stop doing drugs. Like, fuck you, man. That's not your place. He's not hurting you. He's not doing anything to you. It's his own life that he has in his hands. He's doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. Leave him alone. Let him be. Stop fucking judging people so much. What else? That's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and being cool. I've got some shit that I'm working on right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a lot of projects at once. So I have a whole bunch of tools. Um, you can't see them. They're sitting right next to you, like on a table. So for the next three months, I've got tons more tool reviews. Um, Weha sent me some of their insulated screwdrivers. They're like thousand volt rated. So there's like Phillips flat screwdrivers, square tips, Robbies. I've gotten my ass chewed by electricians out there for calling them square drivers or square screwdrivers. They're not squares. They're Robertsons. They're Robbies. Okay. I've got some Robbies um, from Weha. Got some Milwaukee lights. I've got some Bosch lasers. Um, got some drills, some Milwaukee lights, rigid, Makita. I got all kinds of shit to go over in the next three months. So um, I'm trying to, I've actually put a schedule together for all of my posts. So my schedule that I'm trying to adhere to from here on out 
is going to be Monday morning, there's going to be an episode of Journey to Master out. Tuesday morning, there's going to be an episode of Electrician You out. Wednesday morning, there's going to be an episode, or not an episode, there's going to be a tool review from Journey to Master. Uh, Thursday, Electrician You, there's going to be a tool review. And Friday, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to do this every Friday or even most Fridays, but Fridays are going to be my days for live. Um, so I'm going to start doing some live videos, some Q and A's. I kind of want it to be a Q and A session, just because I get a lot of comments, a lot of emails, and tr just keeping up with all of them. A lot of people I've found are asking a lot of the same questions. Um, so I think it'd be a good opportunity for people that watch this that need questions answered for me to at least like highlight some questions and go through my Facebook feed and go through all the different things that people are asking me questions through. Instagram is another huge one. I get a lot of people communicate communicate with me through Instagram. Um, so if you don't, check out Instagram. Uh, Dustin.Stelzer is the Journey to Master page. Electrician underscore you is the Electrician You page. So um, anyways, Fridays are going to kind of be my day, I think, to do some live stuff. Again, probably not going to do it every week, um, but I do want to start doing it more often. Um, I'm going to start premiering some episodes. I don't know that I'm going to premiere all of them, maybe like one a month. For those of you that were a part of the, the premiere that I did on episode 54, what that means is that you, uh, you can watch the episode with me. So I will be on the computer. There's a, a chat. There's like a super chat thing. Um, so you can actually talk to me and we watch the video together as it premieres. Kind of a cool thing. Um, it's like live, but without my attention being drawn to like talking to not be able to answer things. This is kind of like something pre-recorded that you're all watching live, but I can sit and watch it and talk to you and ask, answer questions and stuff like that. So um, just trying to get more interactive and I'm trying to get more on a solid schedule for all of this stuff because my shit's been everywhere. Um, so thank you guys so much for keeping up with it, um, for watching everything, for giving a shit for giving suggestions for videos. I still do keep a whole log of videos, but uh, just thank you guys for everything. I really, really appreciate it. I love you crazy asses, and I'll see you in the next episode.